This movie is all about the Helios 442 lens and how to adapt it to the Canon EOS M50 camera. This is the Helios 442 lens. Okay, so, let's chat. What makes this lens so special? For starters, the price point is relatively inexpensive. I was able to get mine for around $170 on Amazon. For less than $200, you can own the exact same lens that was used to film the Batman movie. I don't know about you, but the Batman fanboy in me thinks that that's pretty damn cool. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I have two main goals that I really would like to accomplish in my life. The first one is to have a refrigerator filled with only Celsius. One refrigerator, uh, the whole bunch of Celsius. And number two, the second goal that I want to accomplish is um, I want to become Bruce Wayne. What? I totally realize that having the same lens that was used in the Batman movie doesn't really make me Bruce Wayne, but still fucking sick, you know? <laughs> I've had my Canon camera for about five years now, and the Helios 442 or 442, whatever you want to call it, that lens, this lens, is the very first one that I bought for myself. Up until this point, I've just been using the kit lens that came with my Canon camera, and I mean, it's been getting the job done for me, to be completely honest with you, but I just wanted a little more, and I really wanted to be able to just have a little bit of a different image when shooting video. I'm excited to be able to expand my horizons when it comes to camera lenses and just be able to diversify the images that I get when I'm shooting. One thing about the Helios lens is it doesn't fit on the Canon EOS M50 body. It needs a little help. And that help comes in the form of an adapter that will actually allow you to adapt the lens to the camera and you'll be able to shoot through the Helios 442 lens on the Canon EOS M50 camera. Adapting this lens to this camera was a real struggle for me. It was so difficult. I don't know the first thing about lenses and adapting, uh, so this was <laughs> very hard. I'm brand new to the world that is camera lenses. It also really didn't help that every single time I tried to research the lens and tried to research how to adapt it to this camera, I just kept coming up on a dead end. I could not find anything. You know, I tried looking for a video, I tried looking for an article, just something that could help me potentially figure out how to properly adapt this lens to this camera 
But I just think that I was looking for such a specific thing. My request was so specific that I just, I don't think it existed. When I tell you I went through it, oh, I went through it. I bought like six adapters, none of them worked. I was just frustrated as hell. But after much trial and error, I finally, finally found the adapter that worked with the lens and the camera. Oh. So if you're like me and you bought the Helios lens and you have a Canon EOS M50 camera, first of all, sick, we're like twins. I'm gonna try to save you some time and some money and explain to you exactly how I was able to adapt the Helios 442 lens to the Canon EOS M50 camera. Whew, that was a mouthful. Let's hop into it. The adapter that you're gonna wanna get is the M42 to EOS M adapter. I bought mine off Amazon. Once again, trusty Amazon and it works just fine for me. All right, now I will show you how to put the adapter onto the camera and then put the lens onto the adapter that will enable you to shoot with the Helios 442 lens on the Canon camera. Wow, wow, mouth full. Say that five times fast, I bet you cannot. Um, I can, but okay, let's, let me show you how to do that. In order to place the new adapter onto your camera, you're gonna wanna take off the original lens, just like this. You're gonna press this button down and just go ahead and twist. Boom, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna place the new adapter on here, just like so. Once the adapter is locked into place, yep, that's not going anywhere. Screw the Helios lens into the adapter. My Helios lens actually came with an adapter on it, this little metal piece. So you can unscrew that and then go ahead and screw it on to the adapter that's on the body right here. It is on, that is excellent. Okay, so the adapter is on, the lens is on, but you're not done yet. Here is why. Technically, the camera isn't detecting that there is a lens on your camera right now because there's an adapter that is blocking the reception from the body of your camera to the camera lens, in this case, the Helios lens. Don't panic, I will show you how to get around this. Go into the settings tab. I'm already there, but if you were to open up and it would say shooting settings, you just go over right here, press okay. You're gonna go, if it opens up at one, you go all the way over to five. Go to custom functions. From there, you're gonna enable releasing the shutter without the lens. Mine is already enabled and you're good to go and you're ready to shoot. Okay, <laughs> now we're talking.
Can anybody guess the song, by the way? 